I'm Shilpa and I live in Bangalore city. I recently took an adult gap year from my career. And nowadays I'm exploring multiple hobbies, taking care of my family and building a small business from my home. I have been living in Bangalore from past few years and before shifting, I promised myself that I will explore south of India as much as I can during my time here. But all of that didn't happen yet. So nowadays I have started exploring the nearby places and eventually will increase my radius of travel. Anyways, today I am going to visit two very popular places near Bangalore and everyone who comes to Bangalore visits them for sure. They are very very touristy and so today we are going to visit there. It's a nice place but it's quite sunny today. Over the past decade or so, I have done all the things we consider to be on track for being successful in life. I have filled all the cups that my parents and the society asked me to fill. Be it my education, getting into good college, doing my masters from a very reputable college of India, getting placed into a big MNC with a good paycheck working hard and not to mention smart to get good increments and promotions, getting married at the right age, having a baby, all of these things basically felt natural transitions in life till now. I look at my 20s and I feel a sense of happiness and calm and that's because I was able to do many things that give you a sense of being a grown up. Earning well gave me the freedom to spend on whatever I liked. Living with a roommate taught me to learn how to run a household, though having a bachelor eight household is nowhere near running a family household. But still, we can say that it's similar to taking a soft preview of home and kitchen responsibilities. You know, paying my bills, doing grocery shopping, laundry, cleaning, cooking, etc. It was a time I learned a lot about home management. I travelled with friends to so many new destinations, I learned new skills in my job, I fell in love and then I married, travelled with him a bit and we started planning about our financial future. All this is to say that my 20s were filled with so many experiences and transitions and I feel grateful for my 20s. But, 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 during my 20s, I was also the busiest I have ever been. I was mostly rushed. I wanted to be present at all the plans my friends were making, especially if it involved travel. I was giving a lot of time and mental energy to my office work as I was learning new skills on the job and I wanted to be a desirable employee. I was doing a lot of travel to see my family as I was homesick every two months. During this time, I never indulged into things that were inwards. I never sat and read a book. I never did yoga or meditation. I never sat with my thoughts alone. I never took the time to know what I actually wanted for my future self. And after six to seven years of living like that, I decided to take a break. And my life has slowed down so much after this particular decision. This topic has been on my mind lately because while I'm spending my days without knowing what hour of the day it is and what day of the week it is, most of my previous peers are hopping on team calls daily, wrapping up their daily tasks to meet deadlines on time, getting salary hikes, getting promotions and moving forward in their career, which is all amazing and very motivating. And this is exactly what I saw for myself about a year ago when I sat down to think about how my next five years are going to look like. But when my baby was born, I took some months off from my job to adjust to the new life with my baby and this was the first time I actually got a big chunk of time completely free with no agenda and no plans. I only had to rest, build my health back up and take care of my baby. I felt really rested and tension free during this time. I had never felt that kind of calmness up until now. The days were going slower, I was enjoying my daily chores more, I was seeing the normal things with a childlike wonder along with my baby. And when it came time to join back again my office, I decided to drop it and put my papers down and took a mid-career break. 
my intention was to stretch this peaceful time more i don't want to miss my baby's precious infant ears by working in office these days i'm exploring my hobbies working on my business launch learning video editing video creation doing gardening cooking food and just traveling and i feel it is completely okay to slow down in career if you want to move forward in other areas we as a society when we think about words like progress success rich doing good in life all these words somehow create a picture of rising in your career or being that rich rich which is very skewed perspective that has been taught to us i feel it's always better to take a pause when you are not sure of the direction you are going in it's always better to take a breather and assess whether the goals you had set for yourself 5 years ago do you still want it or now your interests and what you want from life has changed my goals changed after i had my baby my career was no longer a priority for the moment taking a relaxed long break and spending time with my kid in his young years seems like a more important task i also want to change the direction of my career actually rather than climbing up the same ladder i was on i want to switch the ladder and then climb it but after some time not right now career can always wait a little bit more but time cannot wait and health cannot wait don't get me wrong i love being around people who are driven motivated and are working towards their goals i really love that energy and that vibe but being someone who has previously burned herself out to a crisp multiple times have shed many tears multiple times because of work things recovered from those burnouts and being a sensitive person who gets stressed easily i kind of repel stressful people and situations now I can always sense when someone is stressed and that kind of rubs off on me very easily and I go into this overthinking loop of if I'm somehow the cause of it or if I did something wrong somewhere our minds and bodies also need a long break to recharge and just a saturday and a sunday weekend is not going to heal you from a continuous stress cycle of 20 30 years and i say 20 30 years because i feel we all feel a little stressed from the time we start schooling and it just keeps increasing with age so at least a few months are needed for the body to and the mind to fully chill and then reset i'm sharing all this because what i have seen is people taking career breaks most of the time the reason is to do something bigger and better other than their jobs So I feel a little bit weird that the reason for me leaving my career is just to rest and reset, indulge in my hobbies, work on my small business, witness my baby's young ears, you know, all these normal simple things. The reasons are nothing concrete and nothing grand, and I guess that's okay for me. These are good enough reasons I feel for me to take some years off from my career. It's okay to slow down and not be always productive, active and working towards a big goal of some sorts. I believe in this quote that says, believe in the seasons of life and that the universe is taking care of you. Our life is not a linear line. It has got its seasons where sometimes one part needs more care and other times some other part needs more care. And these seasons come and go in their own time. Not everyone is in a situation where they can take time out without a worry and that is understandable. Having responsibilities and being a person on whom others are dependent on is a very heavy duty to fulfill and I completely understand it. But the season I'm in right now is very new to me. <laughs> Till now I always had a schedule given to me which I had to follow to be successful. The schedule of syllabus to study, the schedule of exams to give and pass. the schedule of entrance exam for universities and then schedule of placement season in college all the requirements and the criteria to pass were very clear and crisp but now at 31 i find myself in a new city where i don't know the local language i have a baby and i'm a new mother i'm not working these days in an office job so my schedules are open and flexible being a new mom and motherhood itself comes with a lot of physical and emotional and mental transformations 
I hope all the new moms can understand what I'm sharing here. So overall, I feel like my life is starting over and as a completely different person. I feel like I have stepped into a new me, which is a lot different from my previous me.